to my channel if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram and let's get started so I thought it would be fun to give or tell you guys what my favorite Netflix shows or movies is because we are some of us are still in quarantine and not all of us is going back to school yet and still are bored at home and don't know what to do and most of us are watching Netflix because we don't have anything else to do so I'm going to give you guys some movies and shows you can watch on Netflix at home and it's winter here in South Africa so you can just just chill in your bed and watch Netflix all day long so if you want to know what my favorite movies or shows is on Netflix then keep on watching I'm going to start with the shows I wrote everything down on this piece of paper so the first one is sorry so the first one is the vampire diaries it's one of my favorite shows ever you guys must watch it it's about this girl elena who meets stefan on her first day at school and they fall in love immediately but she doesn't know that stefan and his brother damon are vampires vampires why do i want to say vampire diaries are vampires and then later on in the show she finds out and then super crazy stuff is going to happen you guys need to watch it that's all i'm going to say because i don't want to spoil it and i rate the show 10 out of 10 definitely because it's the best show the second one is pretty little lies it's also good i haven't watch i haven't finished it yet so i don't know really what's going to happen in all the other seasons but it's about those four girls aria emily hannah and spencer and they get threatening messages from this person called a who knows all their deepest secrets and one of their friends is missing i can't remember her name but i don't know i wish i could tell you guys more but this that's all i know so far but it's really a good story you guys need to watch it and i give it an 8 out of 10 because it's also very scary at the same time so yeah the third show is riverdale i like the show it's when i actually first started to watch netflix it's actually the first show i've watched because i'm i don't really watch netflix or tv at all and it's also good it's very it's a good it's i like it a lot and it's about four friends archie betty jugged and veronica they are teenagers and in in the town there's going crazy stuff is going on like criminals people killing other people and just crazy stuff and it's super scary also and i give the show a seven out of ten because it gets scary and it's not that good anymore the fourth one is outer banks i've just started to watch it and i'm almost finished with the first season it's a really good story it's about this boy called john p and his father went missing nine months ago and he's like searching everywhere for clues to find his father because he wants to finish the mission that his father started and he has this three friends JJ um Kay I'm not sure what what's um her name I can't remember and then Hope 
and they are all helping him search for his father and it's a really really good story you guys need to watch it i give it an 8 out of 10 because there's a lot of drama and then the last one the fifth one is the originals it's also a vampire vampire story the original family of it's it's about this the original family and they went back to the city they built called New Orleans and they meet old friends and like then just crazy things is going to happen you guys need really need to watch it I get, give it a 10 out of 10 and like magic they do magic and they need to find new cures for new stuff and it's just crazy you guys really need to watch it i really then i'm going to start with the movies i don't really like movies because it's so short and when it gets interesting it finished so i like shows better but the movies that i like the first one is all the bright places guys i've never cried so much in my life it's really a good story it's about um two people that struggle with emotions and physical scars of their past and they discover like that small things actually matters because this girl um her sister died when they were very young so she still she's still sad about it and then the guy he struggles with anger issues so he tries to to get better like not struggle so much anymore and I give the show a 9 out of 10 because I don't know then the second one is Soul Surfer guys I really like I love the beach and what like watch people surf, surf so that's why my and I really want to learn how to surf and this movie is about this girl Bethany she is a champion at serving S what surf <laughs> serving what am I saying and then this and one day when she served in the ocean she got attacked by a shark and she lose her arm and then she just never wanted to surf anymore and then her faith in God and a family and friend support made her surf again and she won I think competition I'm not sure so that's also very great and it was also very sad I give this movie a 10 out of 10 because really she's she's a champion I love this movie so much then the third movie is the perfect date it's a romance I love romance movies you guys like seriously it's my favorite movies to watch it's about the, a high school student who creates an app to offer his service to be a fake date so if you need the date he goes on a date with you then you pay him and then one day he went on a date with this girl and he just fell in love with her and then he just gave up this app and everything and he started to date her and he didn't worry about college the money for college so that's also very sweet you guys really need to watch it i don't want to spoil any of this movies or shows and i give this one an 8 out of 10 then the fourth one is about time it's also a very it's a very good movie and um, this guy meets his his dream girlfriend and he, he sorry I'm looking down all the time because I wrote the things down that I want to say like what I think 
of the movie like you know and then you can tr travel in time so if you make a mistake you can just go back in time and make it right so that's also very cool i wish i could do that but also i don't wish i could do that because then you never learn from your mistakes and i give this a seven and a half out of ten <laughs> sorry guys it's just so low rating but it's fine and then the last one is jumanji welcome to the jungle guys this is the funniest movie i've ever watched it's very good it's about um four friends that discovered this magical video game and then the game just like pulls them in like in this jungle world and then they like the game choose their characters like their different characters and they don't know who they are and everything and they need to finish the game to return to the real world to go and then there's a i think there's a jumanji welcome to the next level or something you must you guys must watch every jumanji movie it's really funny it's really good movies i love this movies and it makes me laugh all the time and i gave give this movie a 9 out of 10 10 you guys really need to watch these movies and these shows because i have watched them and it's really really great it they are all on netflix guys really why am I saying really the whole time? I don't know why. <laughs> and if I looked down the whole time like this, sorry guys, I apologize. But that will be all for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what type of videos you guys want leave them all in the comments down below i will try to read it to read all of you guys comments and everything and that will be all <laughs> bye guys see you guys in my next video through the wastelands through the highways and the